If you are looking for ways how to get your blood sugar down fast, stick around. Because in this video I will be sharing how I got from a diabetic blood sugar like this to a non-diabetic blood sugar like this in only 60 minutes. Let's go! During over 30 years with diabetes, I discovered a few very effective methods that helped me get my blood sugar down fast. And today I want to share with you my top three. I captured three days when my morning blood sugar was a bit too high on camera, so that you can see what exactly I did on each of those days to lower my blood sugar. Quick disclaimer, I'm not a medical professional and this video is not medical advice. I'm just sharing my own personal experience. Day one, six o'clock. My blood sugars are at 7.5 so they have been creeping up a bit and I'm gonna try to bring them down by doing a 30 minute walk and I'm gonna check it with you every 15 minutes so that you can see real time how my blood sugars are moving. Let's go! It's 6.15, I've been walking for 15 minutes and I just show you what my blood sugar is so it's actually going a bit up. I will check again in another 15 minutes because I think it will now start going down. Remember there is a bit of delay because I'm using a CG and there's a bit of delay between the blood sugar and the sensor glucose that the Dexcom sensor is giving me. So I finished the 30 minute walk and my blood sugar is actually at the same exact level that it was before I started. But I'm gonna stop now and I'm gonna check in with you again in 15 minutes because remember I mentioned there is a bit of a delay and I already noticed there is a trend reversal so from going up the blood sugar started coming down. Guys keep watching because you will see the blood sugar going down even further in the next 30 minutes although I won't be walking anymore. So I've been just chilling here for the past 15 minutes and you see the blood sugar keeps coming down. I'm now at 6.7 millimole. To be honest, I expected a little bit more. 7 o'clock, I'm at 6.3 millimole. If you ask me, that's a pretty damn good fasting blood sugar, at least for a type 1 diabetic. I'm happy with that and I'm gonna have breakfast now. I was a bit disappointed on day one because I typically see much bigger reduction in my blood sugar from a half an hour walk. But check out what happened on day two and day three. And even if you don't feel like getting off your sofa, watch all the way to the end because not all three methods I will be showing you today require some physical activity. Day two, six o'clock. I'm starting again at 7.5 millimole and I'm gonna do a short jog, a light run for 30 minutes to see if I will be able to bring my blood sugar down and by how much. Let's go! Fifteen minutes into the run I already get some sweat going. My blood sugar started dropping into 7.3 right now and I think as I continue running it will continue to go down. At 6.30 a.m. I finished my run, I'm down to 6.6 .6 millimole and look how beautiful it is here. And I check again in 15 and 30 minutes to see if the blood sugar keeps coming down because I know it will and I want to see what the impact after 60 minutes is. Finished my run 15 minutes ago and I'm at beautiful 5.5 millimole, so that's a 100. That's a unicorn. 7 o'clock. Fasting blood sugar 4.8. This is perfect. This is like a non-diabetic. So you see the light jog in the morning really did it and got my blood sugar down. I'm very happy and I'm gonna eat my breakfast now. So what actually happened on day two? Well, similar to day one, I did an aerobic physical activity. I was able to bring my heart rate up just enough to reduce my blood sugar levels. And from my experience, there are many other aerobic activities I can do to reduce my blood sugar. Some examples are biking, swimming, or inline skating. I just need to be careful and not go too fast, because if my heart rate goes above 160, I might turn that aerobic activity to a non-aerobic activity. That would actually increase my blood sugar. Now, 160 is no magic number. This is something that works for me and for you it might be completely different so give it a try and see if doing some aerobic activity will actually decrease your blood sugar now before we get to day three what is your favorite way to bring blood sugar down fast let me know in the comments day three 6 45 a.m my blood sugar is 7.3 millimole and today I'm gonna try to bring it down by taking some rapid acting insulin. My insulin correction ratio is about 3.5 millimole 
per one unit of insulin. So because I'm trying to get to around 4.5 millimol as the ideal fasting blood sugar, I'm gonna take 0 0.8 units of insulin and I'm gonna check in with you again in 30 minutes when the rapid acting insulin is supposed to start working. Guys, while we wait for the insulin to start working, I just want to mention that on the three days when I did this experiment, I didn't eat anything before or during the experiment. And I had no insulin or other medication on board except for my basal insulin, of which I took the exact same amount on each of those three days at the exact same time to make sure that this is an apple to apple comparison. 7.15 a.m., 30 minutes after I took the insulin, Right now I'm at 6.7 millimol, so it's a slight drop from 7.3 where I started. We should see more significant impact of the insulin at 7.45 a.m. It's 7.45 a.m., 60 minutes after I took my rapid acting insulin. And you see my blood sugar got all the way down to 5.2 millimol from 7.3, so that's quite a drop. 5.2 I think is perfect fasting blood sugar i'm gonna have breakfast now guys in a second i'm gonna show you a nice overview of how these three days compared and which of these three methods was the most effective in bringing my blood sugar down fast whether it was the walk the run or the insulin but before i do that i want to recognize that with diabetes every day might be different there are thousands of other things that can impact my blood sugar including how i slept what climate i'm in whether i'm stressed and many others and mornings and afternoons are different too my insulin sensitivity is pretty bad in the morning so if i did this very experiment in the afternoon my blood sugar would go down even more from the very same activities the one thing i want to stress out and i want you to keep in mind is that when it comes to reducing blood sugar it is very important to do it safely and not only quickly especially if you decide to experiment like i did and try some new physical activities or giving yourself extra insulin your body might react completely different from mine and you don't want to overdo it and bring yourself to severe hypoglycemia and if you do do any kind of physical activity please always keep a juice box or glucose tablets on you just in case something goes wrong and you need those quick carbohydrates if you take additional insulin make sure you know your correction ratio in other words how much one unit of insulin will reduce your blood sugar level you also need to know how fast your insulin starts working and for how long it lasts if you don't know any of these things you should definitely talk to your doctor first because it is his or her job to explain to you how these things work and what are the best methods to reduce your blood sugar. You can see that in my experiment the 30 minute run was the most effective and reduced the blood sugar the fastest and this is what I typically see in my case. Now in my opinion this goes to show that it is not always necessary to put additional medication to your body when your blood sugar is high. I know that in my situation doing a little bit of light physical activity can do even better and faster job than insulin. Guys one thing that is even even more important than getting your blood sugar down is not letting it spike too much in the first place. And you can do that by eating the right foods. I will link another video here where I share my five favorite recipes for my five favorite low carb meals that don't spike my blood sugar. So click it to find out what these meals are and how you can make them. I will see you there. Light jog, the most impact, most impactful exercise. I can't talk right now.